Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here, uh, Global Account Manager for Lenovo. Back again, this is part two of the ThinkPad P1 uh, video. So the, normally in these uh, videos I'm standing up, I'm unboxing, and we're uh, learning uh, how the product ships. So a little bit different today, I'm actually already unboxed it in the previous video, so you may want to go check that one out. Uh, so I've, I've booted it up. Uh, I've connected it to my external monitor so you can all see, and I'm going to try and run a couple tests on here, uh, just the Cinebench, Cine Cine and then uh, also talk a little bit about some of the ports and some of the details. So let's go ahead and get the Cinebench test started since it takes a, a minute. For those of you who aren't familiar with this test, I wasn't either. Uh, it's a, a, openly available on the internet, good way to test both your uh, GPU, uh, and which is your graphics card, and also your CPU, which is your processor. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to run the GPU test. While that's running, I'm going to do a, a little bit of details on the specs on this one. So this one has several processor options and several uh, graphics options, all the way from an i5, i7, and Xeon processor. This one in particular has the i7-8750 processor. Uh, it's listed right here in the in the test, and then also uh, different options for the um, display itself. Uh, it can this one has the FHD screen, so that's the 1920 by 1080. Another option is you can get a 4K screen, um, and then there's also a capacitive multi-touch uh, 4K option for this also. So this is our P1 workstation class top of the line uh, processor. Uh, and laptop. And so the graphics card that's in this one is the P1, um, uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's the, uh, let me just take a look at this here, it's the Quadro P1000. So there's also a P2000 option, this is kind of the entry level, believe it or not, uh, P1000 processor. Just finished the test and uh, for all you gamers out there, you're going to go crazy. It just finished it at 128 frames per second running the Cinebench test. So I think that's an incredible score. I can't imagine what the, um, the P2000 would get. So now let's go ahead and run the other test. Uh, this is the CPU test. We'll see what kind of score we get on this. So we'll let that run in the background. Talk a little bit more about uh, the ports on this uh, machine. So... Uh, it's got along the side here, I know it's hard to tell, uh, the AC adapter, two USB-Cs, HDMI, which I'm currently using now, and then a, a, a native Ethernet option, and a headphone jack. And then on this side, uh, we'll go ahead and hopefully put these on the bottom, uh, it's got an SD card and uh, two USB-C, and then the Kensington lock. So go ahead and... Uh, take a look at those, but basically has all the ports, none on the back, uh, none on the bottom, none of our machines any longer have the bottom docking solution, so the, the only dock option available for this is the Thunderbolt uh, workstation dock. So this just finished this uh, CPU test, the score it gave it was a 1224 CB, so if you, uh, I don't know if you're able to see this, but it kind of stack ranks that against uh, other processor options. But this is a uh, 120, uh, 12.24 score, which puts it just below the Intel Xeon X5650 and just above the uh, Intel i7-3930. So again, an amazing score. Incredible to get this much uh, power, not only out of a mobile workstation, but a mobile workstation in this case that weighs uh, just over uh, three and a half pounds. Uh, so 3.76 pounds. So that's it uh, today for the little uh, detailed view of the P1 and the Cinebench score. Again, at 128.4 frames per second on the GPU and a 1224 score on the processor. Thanks everybody for joining in. I appreciate you uh, watching these videos, giving your comments and feedback. I'll put detailed specs on this one in the comments uh, below. So look forward to talking to everybody and see you next time. Thanks everybody. Bye.